Last night, I was doing a procedure in the operating room here. The lights went out as I was taking a swipe of tissue. The consequence of that happening in a medical situation, it can be lethal. La semaine dernière, j'ai travaillé la nuit. Il n'y avait pas d'énergie. Pour cela, j'ai obligé de prendre et mon téléphone. Avec mon téléphone, je mets dans ma bouche pour faire un accouchement. On, on, on ne devrait pas faire ça. The lights in the operating room were broken last year. They're still broken. The air conditioning can come and go. It's hard to work in that condition. Anesthesia machines, blood gas machines, suction machines, that you need electricity. Even with full power, it doesn't always work. It's not the same power I have at home. It's, I'm digging a little bit more. Um, things go down a lot. Even when the power is not going down, a, an electric socket may not be dependable. Electric socket with two plugs, one plug may work, one plug may not work. If you have a delicate instrument, especially a laboratory instrument, this could be a catastrophe, you know, because the electricity sometimes is very unstable. Without reliable electricity, it's very difficult to go forward and develop the system like it should be. <laughs> to try to meet the challenge of providing sustainable energy services to these facilities in Haiti, USAID organized this Improving Health Facility Infrastructure Program. We're doing this project not only in Port-au-Prince, but actually scattered throughout the country. We have uh, over 25 different installations. And in all of this, we're really focusing on two specific areas of work. First one is technology, and the second one is institutional development. So from a technology perspective, all of our systems are built around a central battery bank. And that battery bank, working through inverters, basically compensates for no power or for even unreliable power. Batteries are charged with grid power, where there is grid power, or with diesel engines. Additionally, we can use solar panels, in some cases, to charge these batteries. But however you power these systems, whether you're talking about grid or solar or generator, none of that really matters if electrical wiring in the buildings is not up to par. Unfortunately, we found serious deficiencies in the wiring pretty much consistently throughout Haiti because of poor practice, lack of budget, uh, and other maintenance problems in the hospitals. This, in turn, has led us to not only provide work on the backup side, but to work on the wiring side. And an important aspect of IFI has evolved into an actual rewiring of electrical systems, lights, fans, switches, and outlets throughout these hospitals. Mais le total, en gros, qu'on devrait installer près de 270 lampes et environ plus de 80 ventilateurs et plus de 350 prises. Et j'étais venu à 7 heures du soir, il y avait beaucoup de gens, il n'y avait pas d'électricité, ça faisait noir. Et j'ai dit que la lumière soit. Et puis, c'est allumé, vraiment, ça a fait et, et le compte de certains. Tout le monde était venu dans l'Assemblée. Voilà, que la lumière soit, Dieu a dit. C'était la parole de Dieu quand même dans le livre de Genèse. So certainly all this technology is wonderful, but what we really need to do is to integrate it into the operation of these facilities. And that is where the institutional development comes in. So the hospital technicians are really the key entity with whom we've partnered in order to make sure that these systems are properly installed, operated, and maintained. And we've done this through a series of training courses at different levels. <laughs> What we are doing is trying to create a uh, curriculum that really addresses the problems that the technicians may encounter with the inverter battery systems. Everything kind of has to be right, so that's why the training is so important. When I visited the sites, I saw the level of skills that the technicians had had really increased. 
We have made a lot of progress through the IFE program in building the technical capacity of a wide number of stakeholders that are going to be required to keep these systems running in the long term. Mais la construction du système de santé n'est pas quelque chose que l'on fait que l'on peut faire seul. C'est vraiment indispensable que l'on puisse avoir de l'énergie, que l'on puisse avoir de la bonne formation pour les gens, que ce soit des prestataires ou des gestionnaires, pour qu'on puisse tous avancer ensemble et avoir un succès collectif pour le plus grand bien du peuple haïtien. Donc voilà ce que moi je souhaite. This is a process. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's going to take years to do it. But I'll say this, that USAID is here for the long term and we're going to do whatever it takes for Haiti to get up on its feet because we believe in Haiti and we believe in the Haitian people.